Are we ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll declare the meeting started then. Um, good evening, everybody. This is a meeting of Antworth Parish Council's Planning Committee, uh, scheduled to take up to half an hour, we hope. Um, <clears throat> Because there's a lot of people watching, there's a lot of interest in this meeting because of uh, recent uh, viral events. Um, I'd like to make everyone aware that uh, the meeting is open to the public generally, and it may well be seen by a very wide audience. Uh, various TV um, stations are taking note BBC, TV, and several others. So your privacy is a significant concern here. If you don't want your face and name to be known, then you need to take steps to remove yourselves. If you're not familiar with using Zoom, one of the things the software does is to listen out, as it were, for people speaking and making other noises like phones ringing, uh, the family talking, dogs barking, anything. And if there's enough noise, uh, Zoom will put your image up on the screen and your name. At the meeting that went viral a week and a half ago, uh, some members of the, uh, one member of the public, I should say, used a brief Anglo-Saxon phrase and thus earned immortality in the pages of the Times newspaper. You can avoid this by clicking your mute button so that you're silent on the system. Uh, it's a symbol that looks like a microphone. It, it'll either be crossed out to show that you're muted or not crossed to show that you're audible. You probably don't want to appear in that Andrew Lloyd Webber musical playing the part of Julie's iPad, so there is, there is your warning. Um, the uh, agenda begins, I need to find the agenda on my screen. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. Right. Yeah, can I ask if you could uh, perhaps speak a little louder, please? Yes, thank you, John. I, I agree. I, I can't hear very well. I'm afraid yeah. that's about as much as I can do. My, my voice has dried up an awful lot um, these last couple of days. I've been answering the phone to an awful lot of people and I'm um, struggling a bit. So, so it's not laryngitis, it's just that my throat's kind of seized up. So uh, it, it, it may fail altogether, I don't know, but this is the best I can do. Sorry. May I, may I ask a question as... I can't bring up a point of order as a member of the public, but I note from the agenda, uh, questions from the member of the public are only allowed if they relate specifically to the agenda, unless the chairman says otherwise. Understanding orders A, A and B, that seems to that seems to not not relate to the standing orders in question. That questions from the member of the public don't have to relate to the agenda, regardless of where the debate has to happen or not. Can I can I just bring that up? As a, not not a point of order, but I can't bring up a point of order. But I just I just I question that part of the agenda. Well, it's the agenda that was provided. Um, I didn't provide it, but it is our normal uh, course of doing these things. I mean, it doesn't relate. It doesn't. It doesn't abide with your standing orders under A, A, and B, though. Right. That 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 it has to specifically relate to the agenda, unless the chairman says otherwise. That's correct. I mean, there, that's there, not what the standing there, orders say. There, 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 I'm just I'm just questioning the agenda. That's all. No, I'm sorry. And whether you think that's acceptable to 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 change the standing orders at this. George, it sounds like you haven't read or understood. Sorry, 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 sorry. Could we? Please, we've, we've had enough disruption over these last few meetings. Could we please organise this so that... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, being, disru I'm not being disruptive, I'm asking... No, I'm, I'm asking not saying you are. I'm just saying that whoever just interjected there didn't ask for 
uh, permission to speak, and we need to do that. Any, I apologise, I didn't ask for permission to speak either. I was just questioning the agenda. I wasn't. If we don't have order, we won't have a meeting, will we? Of course, the, the, and that's. I was just. I was. I was being polite in questioning. You, you were. It was the interjection that I was objecting to. <clears throat> So, so I apologise if, if if I came across as rude. That that's not was, that's not what I intended. I was just questioning the agenda. Okay. There will be uh, an opportunity to ask questions beyond the agendas in the next meeting. If uh, if you're going to stay for that, um, I've, I've I've looked at the agenda for the next meeting, and the, the agenda says the same thing that. in. Re in respect of questions. Excuse so, me, would you, would you please, would you please... Apologies, sorry. ...to let me finish the sentence. Uh, in the agenda item for the second meeting, um, I've forgotten where it is, it's about number six or seven down, there's an open item, as I would call it, where people are allowed to uh, ask questions and make statements about things that are not on the agenda. Now, given that we've got a relatively short amount of time for the planning meeting, I think it's probably best if we continue with the agenda as it is. Oh, ab absolutely, of course. I just, I, just, I just wanted to question that fact, that's all. And conclude this agenda, and then we move on to the next one and see where that takes us. Um, if there's time at the end of this planning meeting, we'll see about... Uh, reopening the open forum so that you can ask questions but i think we ought to press on with it just in case we run out of time okay so apologies for absence um i know that um councillor burkill is tied up with um, um a meeting of cheshire east who he's unable to attend that's the only apology that i have Excuse me, Chair, is that is that an actual Cheshire East meeting taking place this evening? It was taking place today. I presume it's still running. I don't know. I no, no, the meeting finishes finished at about five o'clock. Well, I don't know. That's all I can tell you. Well, that's all I can tell you, Chair, that the meeting finished at five o'clock, so I don't think Councillor Burkill will be taking part in that meeting. Thank you for that input. You're welcome. Okay, item number two on the agenda is... Can I ask, is it, sorry Chair, is there no apologies from any other councillors? Uh, I don't know whether anybody else has received any apologies, that's the apology that I've received. So only Councillor Burkill, okay. Okay, item two on the agenda is always the one that's there to trip up the chairman because it includes the more or less unpronounceable word pecuniary. Um, but its item is to allow councillors to note any interest of pecuniary or non-pecuniary nature uh, relating to items that are on the agenda. So does anybody have anything to declare in that respect? Councillor Smith, no interest. Councillor Sampson, no interest. Councillor Moore, no interest. Okay, and myself, none at all. Right, item number three then is the open forum. Uh, this is an opportunity for members of the public to ask questions or make comments about items that are on the agenda. In other words, the, 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 uh, the planning applications themselves. Yes, I have a question, if I may. Um, it's regarding items 21045 and 21046, um, both which pertain to considering planning application 24228M for a single storey porch rear side extension to provide living accommodation for one Bidston Drive handle. Um, there are, in fact, two identical agenda items. Um, I was just wanting to clarify is it a single storey porch or is it a two storey porch? Chair, can I answer that for you? Oh, can I point out that according to the Cheshire, somebody's got to, 
something jangly. Sorry, that's me. Okay. I'll mute myself. You will be banned to Peru if you're not careful. Uh, I, um, I looked on the website, Cheshire's planning website for this um, a couple of days ago, and these, uh, this planning application um, had a closing date for comments of last October. So I don't think we're going to be spending much time talking about this. The decision has already been made by the planning officer in December. So I, I was just querying whether it was yeah. the loop pole. Is it is it a single story or is it yes, a yes, chair? Yes. Chair, can I um, yes, make yes. a comment on this, please? Yes, this yes. is yes. Councillor Cynthia Sampson. Okay. Unfortunately, the clerk made an error, and the um, application should be two zero stroke five four four six M, and the second one twenty four oh four six is to be deleted. Okay. So, and if we move down to 21049, that planning application should read 210055M. And the clerk apologises profusely. Okay. So we, we, we clarified the number discrepancy, but, but still the question remains, is it a one story porch rear side extension or a two story rear side no porch. it's a one story okay yes that's what i wanted to know thank you very much okay thank you so are we all agreed that uh item number five and number six which are for application 24228m are simply to be deleted from the no 21045 should read Two zero stroke five four four six M. Yes, yes, but we can't deal with an application that isn't on the agenda. But he's made an error, and twenty stroke four 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 two two eight M. There's no resemblance in, to in, one. In, in order for, in order for everybody who may have an interest in discussing the the actual application that you're talking about, it must be on the agenda. It is on the agenda, but it's got the wrong um, planning application number. So if you looked at 20 stroke 4228M, it bears no resemblance to one Bidston Drive. So one, that, that's I, I say chair. again, we, we cannot discuss 4228M, one Bidston Road, one Bidston Drive, if it's completely erroneous. It's on the agenda. It's on. But, I, I've, but it's been decided. No. Chair, Chair can no. I move a motion without uh, requiring written notice that we adopt the new number and discuss Absolutely. the application? Absolutely. Of course you can't. No? Okay. If, if it's, Sorry, why, 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 can't, why can you not do that? If members of the public and people who may have an interest in the planning application can't have proper notice given, that it's to be discussed because it affects their properties or their uh, concerns with the property. I, be I believe I believe under the standing orders it doesn't require written notice as an, as a change of agenda item. I, I would have to I would have to check them and reread them, but I've got them right here if you want me to. But I, 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 my understanding is it doesn't require written notice. Uh, who's speaking? My name's George. Right. Councillor Tolver, can I just say that when I looked at um, 20 stroke 4228M, I contacted our parish clerk, as I would hope that the other councillors on this planning committee, and realised that that bird no resemblance. He came back, apologised profusely, and gave me the correct planning application. Right. So if everybody has seen the 20 stroke 5446M, that is in keeping with the planning application for one Bidston Drive. And I can't see a problem that because Ashley made an error, it's not down to the applicants of the planning application to say, well, I'm sorry, that's not our planning application. 
I identified it. Obviously, you didn't. <laughs> I informed all the councillors of the new planning application number, and I think we should be able to uh, debate it. Well, why didn't you notify me? I did. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Oh, right. Okay. But I, I don't think it would make any difference anyway. I mean, the, you, with something like this, as I said, people have interests in these things. <laughs> But the people with interest would have the correct planning application number. It's because, unfortunately, our clerk put the wrong number down. Well, there's, five, five, there's, five there's, eight, there's eight, nothing eight, to stop eight. it being properly advertised. for the So next what are you future. trying to say, Councillor Tolver? 5A18, by the way, is the correct standing order. To amend a motion relevant to the original substantive Sorry. motion under consideration, provided that this shall not have an effect of nullifying it. Sorry, Five a.m. Could, could I ask you not to interrupt the councillors? I was just I was just helping you with well, respect could you, to. Could you please uh, not interrupt the councillors. With respect, sorry, I was just helping you with respect to the standing orders. I I, I was trying to help. You have no authority, George. No authority at all. I was trying to be helpful. George, shut up. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, shut up, George. Can I just say, please, let's respect each other. Um, I just want to make it clear that the um, planning application was inadvertently put on the agenda incorrectly. And the clerk quickly rectified it gave us the correct 25446M, which I looked at the planning application and I'm fine with it. 21046 was to be deleted. And then if we go to 21049, that has got the correct planning application. The ones that the clerk put on, unfortunately, nobody seemed to recognize except myself. And you're the chair of the planning, chair. I can't see what the problem is with putting this on to the next planning meeting. Because it will be outside the time. But to do it correctly. Well, we can have a, a, an extraordinary meeting then, can't we? What, because of the clerk's inability to put the correct planning application on? It's not, it, you know, the planning applicant has given us the correct planning application. And if you go in and look at it, you can see that there's been an error on the parish clerk's part. And he has apologised profusely and corrected it. Well, so what, why are you stopping it, Councillor Tolva. Well, I've already told you that. No, you haven't. You've you've hummed and hard. I've said it I haven't hummed and hard. I've said it's not been properly advertised. And anybody who's got an interest in this has every right to object if we don't advertise it properly. But why didn't you, being the chair of the planning, come back and say these these two items bear no resemblance because to the planning application? Because, no, well, it, it does bear a resemblance. It's no, exactly it doesn't. That. If you oh, sorry, use, sorry, sorry, if you use the old one, Councillor Tolbert, no, 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 if you it, use the old one, I believe it, it was bears you who said no it, resemblance you, to one Bidston Drive. I believe it was you who said we should respect each other. Chair, can I make a comment? I am mm. making. I am being respectful. I'm trying to well, get you, this you planning keep, application. You keep talking when I'm trying. Yeah. You keep talking when I'm trying to talk, which is uh, when you ask a question and I try to give a response and you won't allow me to, I don't think that's very respectful to you. Really? Chair, yeah. Chair, can I make a comment, please? My, my, my point is this. I looked at the what it said on the agenda. I looked at what it said in the um, Cheshire East website. I looked at the plans um, and then I realised that... Um, that application number had already been approved back in December. It had been uh, had a cut-off date of October, and I didn't see anything beyond that. I don't see why 
any other resident of Bidston Drive or anybody else who might have an interest would have any reaction to that other than what I did. So, I think if, it's a fair if, question though to ask okay, which one. Is, some, is somebody interjecting again? If uh, if anybody wants to take exception to us uh, giving uh, our support or rejection uh, Chair, uh, can of, I of that planning item, then they have every right to take us to task. Can, can I ask a question, it Chair? It must be properly advertised. Can I ask a question, Chair? A suggestion? Yes. That's Councillor Smith, I take it. Yes. If, if if we notify the if we if we look at this new number and notify the uh, people who live at one Bidston Drive and say what our determination is, I don't see with that sort of um, extension that we're looking to do. It's typical of the area. So if we had, if we let them know that we've adjudicated that we have no objections. Unfortunately, we did it on the wrong number, but in order not to delay this residence planning application, uh, we need to pass some sort of information around to the neighbours to make sure that they're not uh, got any major um, objections to it. That gets it off the agenda, it gets the, uh, the applicant the result that they want, and we can move on to the next item. I'm perfectly happy that we should call a brief extraordinary meeting in a week's time to do to do it properly. To do one planning application. Well, there's another one here that's uh, potentially in the same situation, isn't there? And, and yes, to do one planning application if it's in a hurry. Well, let's hope that it doesn't run out of time in the interim. And it will do. All right. So. Again, I, I, I'll I, leave say, it. I say that we should delete those two items because they're not valid. Okay, if that's your decision, Chair. Um, that actually came about as part of the open forum, which uh, I don't know if anybody's got any other, any, any member of the public has got any other questions or comments on the agenda as part of the open forum. I'll take that silence to mean no. Okay, excuse me, I'm beeping myself. Right, so item on the... We will delete items five and six on the agenda as being uh, impossible to execute. Um, item 21047 is application... Uh, What's that? Five five four two M. What? I believe. Sorry, Chair, may I speak? Hmm? It's twenty four. It's twenty one oh four nine. I'm Did talking about to... agenda item twenty one oh four seven. It's the well, next that's one. That's fine. Hmm? It's what? <laughs> 21 Road. Are you still there, Chair? I'm checking these numbers. Yeah. 20 application reference 20 stroke 5542M is another one that was decided last year. It had a cut off date, cut off date for comment of uh, October. Yeah, but, uh, but we can discuss that, councillor. You can discuss it if you like, but it's already been decided. Is there any point? Well, it's approved with conditions. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's already granted. Yeah. So what do you want to discuss? Well, the case, the case officer is happy with it. Yes, it's been approved already. Yes, it has. The cut-off date for comment was last October. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, could the person who has Andrew's iPhone, could they please mute themselves? That should be the mute the microphone button on their application. I, I can hear a sort of rather metallic voice, but I can't understand Thank what you. one said. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay. So with this application, the seventh item on the agenda, 5542M, um, as I said, that was, I don't know if anybody's got anything they want to comment on about this, but it's uh, no. It's a, it's a no. double parrot. No, Chair. No? No, no. Chair. What, no, no, you chair. haven't got anything to say? No. 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 Okay, we delete that item as being not relevant. Or gone past it, sell by date anyway. Okay. <coughs> Number eight is uh, 5, 25810M. Sure. Uh, Chair, a single story extension at 21 Hallwood Road. Chair. Hello. Chair. Hello. May I may I say that we seem to have missed approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. You're perfectly right. Thank you. I'll come, I'll come back to that in a bit. Um, but, 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 where were we? Right. This, this one appears to be duplicated a bit further down, if I'm looking at the right bit. Five eight one oh M in uh, in item number twelve. Item number eight. Item number eight and item number twelve, I think. Oh, that's right. Are the same thing, are they? They are. All right. Well, let's deal with it under my item number eight. What uh, does anybody want to say about this? Uh, yes, Chair, if I might. Um, <laughs> the uh, Councillor Moore, sorry if you can hear me. Um, <laughs> there is a comment from Highways um, that the uh, extension should adhere to section 184 uh, agreement and that was to do with the uh, pavement uh, also there is a letter from uh, the neighbor who adjoins that property to request that um, any services or damage to that adjoining wall uh, be uh, repaired at the cost of the um, applicant. Yes. And I would, whilst I have no objections to the um, planning application, I would like the clerk to put in that they must adhere to section 184 and uh, ensure that all repairs are carried out so the neighbour doesn't lose his BT connection or his drainage. I support that, Councillor Moore. Thank you. Councillor Smith, anything to add? Councillor Smith, anything to add? No, I haven't. No. Okay. Well, I think we're all pretty much in agreement on that one. Um, who, who's taking notes of the meeting? The clerk. Oh. So, uh, Sorry, can I ask why we're not following the items actually on the agenda? Can you ask what, sorry? Can I ask why we're not following the agenda from number to number? We'll leave the bits out. For example, the minutes from... We, we are following the agenda except that I overlooked um, one at the beginning, so we can we can go back and do that when we finish. Yes, so we're not following it. We should do. We well, have to should, stand in order. We should do, but as we've seen, and mistakes we can be made. Sorry, we should call an extraordinary meeting just to you know miss half the minutes. As Councillor Sampson quite rightly you know stated, I totally yeah. agree with Councillor Sampson. Well, that's very nice, um, and. Uh, we will move on to item number nine. Which so, is, do I not get a response then to the comments I just made? Which is item number 21 stroke 0025M. Uh, about. Well, I'd like to call the 
Just say that is very rude. That not oh, water road in the Can I just say something, please? No, I'm sorry. No members of the public are not allowed to speak during the business of the council. That's what the open forum is. Sorry, for. Brian. Sorry. <clears throat> so we're talking about Old Water Road. Anybody got any comments on that? Yes, that's an incorrect application. Unfortunately, put on by the clerk. The correct application is 21 stroke 0055 M. So that needs to go along with uh, the Bidston Drive one. Okay. So this is this is wrong and we need to delete this item then, yes? Well, we need to defer it and have another meeting. Right. I mean, I don't have a problem discussing it because no. I, I keyed in the correct planning application. It's our fault that the wrong application number went on. It's not the wrong doing of the planning applica ap applicator. I just feel that we're not being fair to them because it's our error. It's not their error. And I feel that if we can discuss it, I, I would have much preferred to have discussed it. But you're saying, no, we can't. I'm saying I think it would be unlawful. I certainly agree with Councillor Hamilton. It should be this. Is, is that a councillor speaking? I don't know. Well, Sir, it's not can me. Ask, can, I, can I can I please mention again that it's only councillors who can address councillors during this part of the meeting. So you're saying, Councillor Tolbert, that uh, it's unlawful. <coughs> So what law have we broken by our parish clerk inadvertently putting the wrong planning application on? Well, the agenda is wrong. We're advertising to the public that we're going to discuss application 123 when you actually want to discuss application 456. That's nonsense. But it's not a law that we've broken. It, it's a mistake. Well... You, you have to advertise the business that the council is going to discuss on the agenda. That's a well, requirement. And that's when I that's when I made it known to our clerk that these applications yes, it's, it's a question of making, no it's resemblance. A question of make it, making it known to the relevant people in the public. Absolute shambles. Exactly. Chair. Chair, can yeah, I make a point? Look, look this, this, is, this, this has been a matter of this has been a matter of mistakes. This has been a matter of mistakes. And it should be allowed to be discussed. And I'm sorry, the, the, the shambles are seen in the, the end of the meeting I can't solve tonight. I think that the fellow council should call a vote of no confidence. Because if there's errors in the agenda, is, is that a council? Actually, which, 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 uh, excuse me, iPad three. Could you could we take this offline, please? Chair, can I make a point? Can, can well, I? Can I? Can I ask? Can I ask people if uh, that sounds like Councillor Smith? But can I ask if people would identify themselves? We got so many people from the public who are interjecting all the time but it's become very disorderly and I don't think that's helping anybody. So I'd, I'd be grateful if you can say that. Be quiet, fam. <laughs> Chair, can I ask the clerk a question? Of course. Does he consider it that it would be unlawful to do what was being suggested by myself and Councillor Sampson? <laughs> or is it a get out? Well, I consider it would be unlawful. But you don't tell us what law we're breaking. The law that says that you it have to advertise the business that's to be discussed. May I raise, make a comment, Chair? That sounds like Councillor... Councillor Moore. Moore. We've wasted a lot of time on exactly. debate here and um, the Chairman's word is final in any meeting and therefore I suggest to expedite matters that we um, carry on 
Uh, you obviously have a concern, and no. I think you should be concerned. Uh, therefore, we should ignore those, uh, uh, defer those items. May I say something here? Yeah. And deal with those things that are um, correct. This is Councillor Bashir it's speaking. Uh, only councillors of Hanford Parish Council may speak. I'm um, Councillor Bashir. Only councillors of Hanford Parish Council may speak at this point. So we will drop that item, bring it on to an extraordinary meeting if need be, or if desirable. No, I don't disagree with that. And we will move on to item number 11, which is planning application 24330M. I have no objections or comments to make on this one. There are no objections on the site. And no comments uh, from uh, any uh, highways or anybody. No. Um, just, yep. Same for me. It's a typical, typical extension, typical of the yeah. area. Yes, Chair, it's in keeping with the other um, properties in the vicinity. Okay, so we have no objections to that one. Are we all oh. agreed on that? Do we, can we do that Correct. unanimously? Uh, agreed. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, okay. unanimous. Okay, number 12 uh, is application 24430M. And that's at... Uh, that's 11, not 11, 12. 10. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm getting confused. As you know, my my eyesight just shot to pieces with uh, with diabetes, and I find it very difficult to read some of the numbers when they kind of merge into each other. So, twenty four four three zero M item number eleven on the menu. Uh, that's a garage conversion at Four Bidston Drive. Is that correct? Is everybody happy? It's Four Bidston Drive. That's right. It is. Yes, Chair, may I right. speak? Um, Councillor Sampson? There's, I'm Councillor Sampson. There's one objection, and it comes from a person in London, which I found quite bizarre. And is it a valid sort of an objection? Um, well, it, I don't know. Uh, they are wanting to convert the garage into a bedroom, and they need to go through the utility room through to this new um, bedroom and whatever. And he says there could be a possibility of um, fire hazards. possible fire hazards and whatever. Um, I don't have um, an objection in principle. Um, however, they have to be mindful of their neighbours. And um, as far as I'm aware, they have not uh, contacted their neighbours to say what they were proposing to do, which I thought was a, a little bit disrespectful. Mm, you can be as disrespectful as you like in planning applications. And of course, he may be in London, but he may actually be a neighbour, I suppose, but other times, who knows. The question is whether the objection is valid or not, I guess. I don't really know not come across that situation before. Chair, may I speak, Councillor Moore? Yes, please, yes. Um, there is a, a, a letter um, from the next door neighbour, which I do have some sympathy with actually, because this was a garage, and I'm not actually sure whether um, the, the person is truly correct in what they're saying, and that they bought a detached property. Well, actually, if the garage is they're already attached, then it can't be detached. It's a link detached, I think they call it. However, I do have some sympathy with the fact that it was a garage and now there's a possibility of um, noise from from that room. I just wondered if there was any um, anything in the planning regulations. Hey, guys. Um, that, that was just a concern to me generally. I, I don't have an objection to it. I just thought I, I was quite sympathetic towards the next door neighbour. 
Yes, and I agree with well, Councillor we could, we could express a concern, I guess, couldn't we? You are yes. right, Brian, you're right. Very much. Very much so. Yeah. I think we need to take the neighbours' uh, consider uh, comments into consideration. I think so. Okay. I would like that to be put on the um, on the response. I think it should be put on the agenda. For any, real. Uh, any comments from Councillor Smith? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm of the opposite view. I'm afraid. Um, I think that the, we don't know the reasons for the garage uh, conversion. It may be that somebody's no longer able to get upstairs, or um, there may be a very good reason for it, and uh, they may be taking that into account and looking to make sure that someone can stay at home rather than going into a, a nursing home or something like that. So there, yeah, I think there's another side to look at. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. Can I ask if the clerk is able to identify the person who interjects every once in a while with rather... Yes, and I've just removed them. Thank you. Can I just say, though, Ashley, that uh, the proper procedure is that the... You, that you can vote on it now if you wish. Hmm? You can vote on it now retrospectively if you wish. I don't like retrospective <laughs> votes. The, the procedure, as you know, or you should is, know, is, is that the chairman says, uh, identifies the person concerned, and then uh, if it happens again, it goes to a vote of the council. We've yeah. Had, We've had too many rejections in recent times with that yes. authority. So I think it's fitting that we should follow the rules if we're asking other people to. That's only, Chair, if the meeting is in progress, not prior to it. Well, it is in progress. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Chair, can I just make, make the point that we've got very, very many members of the public who are unknown to us and uh, here for maybe the first time who are doing it for a laugh sort of thing. Um, we could be here all night taking votes on whether to um, expel, expel somebody from the meeting. Um, I'd just like to make that point. I don't know what I can do with the point, but thank you. Okay. Um, right, are we done then? No, 2104.12. No, that's a repeat. No, that was a repeat. Oh, okay, thank you, sorry. Yeah. So we've now got the minutes of the Extraordinary Planning Meeting okay. on the 10th of we, we, December. We, we've uh, we've overstretched by a quarter of an hour. We'll be losing people from the full council meeting. Shall Are we, we looking at the minutes? Shall we defer those until the next meeting then we can have an extraordinary meeting we can do them then uh, I'm, I'm, we, I'm just i'm just very conscious that we've got an awful lot of people who who want to be involved or listen to um the second meeting yes um, uh, sorry sorry can i just interrupt chair are we, are we not going to vote on any of these applications? Well, I thought we had as we went along. Did we? Did we not agree unanimously on the uh, on, on those various applications? Do, do you want to have a vote on any of them? I, I don't other, think there was other a vote. Other than agreeing yeah. unanimously, we don't have to have a vote. Sorry, to interrupt. There's nothing to vote on any of them. We don't have to have a vote if the feeling is unanimous. Well, I, it wasn't unanimous on the garage conversion. I was of a different opinion to councillors Moore and Sansom. Sorry, I hadn't realised that. I thought you were coming up with the same opinion. No, okay. I, I actually said that I'm coming at it from the other angle that that garage conversion may be being put in for a very good reason. So how do you, uh, you, you, you want to have a vote and you... I, I would vote in favour of the garage conversion. Right. Rather than against, which is what I felt uh, the other two councillors, I don't know yourself, um, were were of the opinion. No, um, Lauren Samson, how are you voting on that? If there is um, 
as long as he takes into consideration what the neighbour is is wanting, I don't have an objection. But because the neighbour has not been informed, I feel that uh, the applicant is trying to run roughshod. And I agree that Councillor Smith has got a very valid reason um, for, for voting it for, especially if there is someone in the household that needs to have a downstairs bedroom. Councillor Moore? Um, I have no objections, except I'd like the neighbours' um, comments to be taken into consideration. But per se, I don't object to the um, yeah. application. Well, that's, that's how okay. I feel about it. So, uh, uh, thank you. Ashley, Ashley, can you put together a composite yes. sort of wording? Yes. What will that be? Um, no objection to the application, but please take into account any neighbour concerns. Okay. Councillor Smith, okay with that? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's fine, Chair. Um, yeah. Chair, why are we deferring the minutes of the 10th of December? Well, it's most that. important that we agree them. And even if we've gone over, well, so be it. Well, if we're having an extraordinary meeting to discuss the planning application, we could do the minutes at the same time, couldn't we? Move on now onto the, onto the full council meeting. Well, I'm a bit unhappy. I think that we should agree these minutes. They've been part of the agenda and because of whatever, um, we've not been able to get to them. Well, there will be some long discussions about those minutes, so I think that uh, it's probably better that we defer them. Can we I'm have a quick look at that? But I'm, 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 item was supposed I'm to be going to at the start of the meeting. I'm and going I'm to sorry to say, it's like them. And they close the meeting to delay it to the next meeting again and then possibly delay it again. I think it is important, you know, to discuss their minutes and then potentially approve them or disprove them. Why? And Jackie Weaver would not tolerate this chaos. Um, so you're proposing to defer it, Councillor? I, I am deferring them. <clears throat> no, we have to have a vote on it. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You do you have to vote to defer the minutes. Sorry, Ashley, could you say that again, please? You do have to vote to defer the minutes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So, can I have a... Is there a proposal to defer the minutes? <laughs> no? Have we got a proposal to defer the minutes? I have deferred the minutes. No, you can't. Yeah. We have to have a vote, Councillor Tolver. Uh, under what regulation is that? You've just heard that what the parish clerk has said. We need to vote for to defer. Prove or reject. We've, we've deferred a planning application. Read the standing orders, Brian. Read them and understand them. And which standing order is that? Chair, I suggest you don't engage with members of the public. No. Uh, can we please come to some resolution on this? Well, I propose that we don't defer the meeting. Can I have a seconder, please? I, I second that. Councillor Moore. All those in favour? Yes, I'm in, in favour. favour. In favour. In favour. Three in favour. So, right. yeah. Ashley, can I point out for the minutes that it is a requirement that you note that it's a requirement that there has to be a vote for deferring an item? Could you make that explicit, please? Yes, you should. You should really vote on anything that you want to defer. Okay. Yes, we know that. Yes. Thank you. Right, so are we going to discuss the minutes then? Yeah. Well, Councillor Tolver hasn't said he's for or against. Oh, he's disappeared. Okay. Can we take a vote on the minutes? 
Hello? No objections to the minutes. I have a question. I've no objection to the minutes. No, I think they should stand as they are. Uh, can I propose that we accept uh -huh. the minutes then, please? I have a question. I Where's second... the chairman gone? Where's the chairman gone? Can we, can we get this vote out of the way? Yes. I'm proposing. Can I have a second? Then? I'll second. I have a question. I'll, oh, I'm in favour of accepting the minutes. Thank you. So am I. And I've Thank seconded it, and I'm in favour as well of accepting the minutes as they stand. Okay. For the 21st, uh, 10th of December. Thank you. Very well. In the absence of uh, Councillor, I believe that uh, that is all items closed, is it not? Yes, finished. That's done. Can we move on? Uh, sorry, um, sorry, Sue, before you just go ahead, uh, and I just ask the clerk to make a note that as from about 1954, 1955, this evening, um, the, 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 the chair has seemingly disappeared from his, uh, He's his left the Zoom screen. Yes, I, I think everyone should be aware that he go. may be ill or should actually take some proper process rather than not oh, when he's left. Sorry, he's back, he's back. There we go. Perhaps we should ask him, is he feeling okay? Rather than just attacking him throughout the process. Oh, it's here. I Tova, you are back. How are you going to close the meeting? Have we got to that point? Yes. Yes. Well, you didn't record your vote about the minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay. Someone should tell Councillor what happened during his absence. <laughs> okay, if we're at the end, then that's good. We can move on to the full Where's council. Chairman? Uh, are, you, are you aware that we voted on, on accepting the minutes? The chairman is missing. Uh, he's back now. Oh, okay, good, good. Chair, are you aware that we voted to accept the minutes as they stand. Um, I, I have deferred the minutes, so I don't uh, really see the point of that. You, you cannot have, you defer them, Chair. You have to have a vote to defer. We shall have to find out in the course of time. Uh, if you're not going to, if you're not going to follow the uh, proper procedure, then how do you expect everybody else to? You're a hypocrite. <laughs> I think we should have no confidence in Captain Colbert. Sabina! Pipe down, Lily. Can I ask the members of the public so, to please, um, keep keep please keep it down? Chair, perhaps you would ask the proper officer. I thought we'd got to the point of closing the meeting. Well, you just closed the meeting. Not, not, not if you're saying that you're defending. Just retire. Just retire. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. This is it. Yeah. You must understand. Yeah. Chair, can you hear me? <laughs> Shall we close the meeting? Yes, please. No, we need to know. Yeah. You want to know that this, You are aware that these minutes cannot be deferred without a vote, Chair. No, I'm not aware of that at all. All right, can I ask that you speak to the proper officer, to the clerk, and ask his opinion? No, you may not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, Brian, if you're not going to follow procedure, then nobody else will do. Why didn't you take a vote, like it, the, the clerk has said? And while That's we're on the subject, why don't we take a vote on the two planning, planning applications that you've also deferred without a vote? Rick's right now. Mr. Tolver is following due process. Councillor Tolver, can you please move the meeting forward or address Councillor Smith's remarks? Well, I've closed the meeting. I declare the meeting closed. Thank you. You can't have the authority, Brian. Very well. 
Next. Okay. Please refer to me as Britney Spears from now on. Very good. Are we Hello, expecting sir. other people to join? No. The full council meeting? No, everyone's here. 